check out this huge tomato. Actually, it's not huge at all. I just made a tiny pallet. And this is my toy FJ. Welcome to Star Score Game! Hello, Cy here. When I was in Oregon over the summer, I was at my stepdaughter's house and she had this really cool little soap holder. It wasn't a dish. I actually took a picture of it and I printed it off. What it is, is a palette. And she had her soap sitting on that. And she said that her sister, my other stepdaughter, liked it and wanted some. Um, and I said, well, I can make her some. So I am going to make her a little pallet of pallets. I didn't take any measurements of this when I was there, but I did put it in my hand. So I'm guesstimating how long things are. And I'm thinking of five inches for the four boards and then whatever looks good for uh, the space in between the boards will be the length of these. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I made myself a fence. I think it's what it's called. What you guys all call it. It's like a little uh, thing to tell me what the measurements are so I'm not going to be measuring it. So it's a five inch fence from the blade. And I'm going to cut all the pieces. Instead of eyeballing the spacing, I took one of the pieces of wood and turned it on its side and put it in between the, the pieces to have an even spacing, like so. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's going to work out pretty well. So that the power. And I measured this length and it's exactly four inches, so I changed my fence. To be four inches from the blade now. lined up the edge with another piece of wood and then put the pallet uh, bottom thingy on there and I think that's gonna work out great. I'm just gonna glue it all together but I think I'm gonna sand the pieces first. Okay I have five pallets sanded and I'm going to get them ready for assembly. Before I glue the other side, I think I'm going to let that dry a little bit. They're pretty easy to make and they're just cute. So yay, I'm excited about this. Yeah. Those are all dried up now and I think I'm ready to glue on the other side of the palette. Yay! Those spacer things worked out great. Yeah. Awesome. I can just make more palettes with those spacers. more gluing. Oh, I forgot to cover my glue and there's a layer of weirdness on top. Cool. All right, I clamped up the pallets. Didn't clamp them up before and some of them broke apart. So I re-glued them and clamped them up this time. Look, these tiny little clamps work perfectly for this. Awesome. Then I printed off some size back 
backwards so I can put the little side thing on to the palette. I'm excited! The palettes are all dry now and I actually made some more, but this time I did a group clamping. Okay, so they're all dry and I have my little heater out here so I can put my little logo-y thing or whatever on these. I like the way they look so far and I think it's dry enough to take these off. John was lonely. Aren't you, Bobo? All right. Ooh, I like them. I'm gonna sand a little bit of the glue off. I'm gonna put that little label on. I'm excited about that. I suppose I should have done that before I assembled them. Oh well. I tried to make this as small as I could and this is as small as I could make it. It's gonna have to go sideways like this. I'm gonna spray a finish on the underside of the palettes first. Okay, first coat done. All right, it's time to flip them over and spray the tops. They're so cute. I love the little palettes. Let those dry. Well, my palettes are all done and I think they look really cute. This one turned out the best as far as my little thingy on the bottom goes. The rest of them uh, were kind of a little bit rough. But these are really cool and I think I'm gonna make some for myself. So thanks for hanging out with me for the day and we'll see you next time. Bye.